All right, we're going to get started now with trying to show you how to do a Alteris Notification Server 6x installation. This will not cover anything else other than that, but we will have some follow-up videos that will show you how to install solutions, configurations, that sort of thing. So what we're looking at right now is we've got a Windows Server operating system, and we're going to make sure that we do the very first thing that I do and that is to check to see which version of .NET is installed and which one is the default instance because when it comes to the Alteris Notification Server 6 installation it requires .NET 1.1 so what we're going to want to do is go over to our start menu then we are going to go to administrative tools and to our internet information services manager once there we're going to break open and drill down to websites default websites select right click and properties and then up in the top right we will have a ASP.NET tab if for any reason you do not have this tab that's not an uncommon issue that is something that is uh, documented across the internet uh, what I've typically been able to do is if I've only got one version of .NET installed typically the 1.1 it won't show up if I install the 2.0 it will show up other than that you can do a search for the uh, .NET AS, ASP.NET tab not showing and it'll give you a list of like VB scripts or registry keys that you can go in to make it start showing up again again this is a Microsoft uh, OS install issue or a VMware issue anyway we're gonna go to the tab and as we can see here it is the default instance of the 1.1.432 if I drop it down you can see that I do have 2.0 Again, 1.1 is what you want to have. 2.0 is fine. 2.0 typically will get installed if you install SQL Server 2005 on the same system. Again, make sure that it's the default of 1.1. Once we've done that, we can click OK. We can close our IIS manager down. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start the installation. What I've done is I've already downloaded the Alteris underscore NS underscore 6 underscore 0 dot exe. You can use your favorite browser to take and go out to www.solutionsam.com forward slash solutions forward slash six underscore zero forward slash I have seen some individuals have issues connecting to it if they do not have the trailing forward slash once you get to this site you can scroll down until you get to the Alteris notification server or Alteris NS6 executable click on that it'll start the download once the downloads finished let's go ahead and double click I'm going to go ahead and select a run. It's going to go through and do its extractions. I'm going to select next. I'm going to accept the EULA. I can use their name. Let's just go ahead. Select next. I want to do a complete. Custom is going to be an option, but just for this, I'm going to do complete. You might want to do a custom if you want to have the install files go to a different location other than the C drive. Go ahead and click install. It's going to take a few minutes as it extracts and installs typical components of the notification server. Once those components are done, we should have a web browser that pops up for the uh, notification server console, and that's where we'll continue. Okay, let's go ahead and select finish. Goes through a few more steps and processes. Console's coming up. Alright, very first thing we want to enter in here is our credentials. Just a note to those of you that may not be running in a domain, you can enter in as a work group, but instead of entering domain backslash user, you would enter computer name backslash user. I'm in a domain, so I'm going to enter in my domain credentials. Then I'll select next. This is going to be uh, for email notifications. I do not have an email server set up in my lab, so I'm just going to skip this piece. You guys could do the same. However, it's going to be an easy case of being able to go back once you've got the notification server set up, and there will be a configuration page that would allow you to update this at a later point. So let's select Next. Okay, this is just letting me know that it's failed to find a list of databases on the local system. That's because I'm going to be uh, using a remote database instead. 
if you don't have the SQL database on your local system, you're going to be in the same shape. But don't worry, this is a common error message. So I'm going to change the name to the server that my database resides on. I'm going to use application credentials that I specified earlier. You do have the option of using the uh, SQL credentials as well, your choice. Select Next. Oh, I need to go back and make a correction. I don't want it to be my Alteris database. I actually want to change the name of this. From a default perspective, what I like to do is I like to take and uh, append the server name that I'm installing my notification server on to the front of the Alteris database name. You can use whatever you want, but in my particular lab, I've got several notification servers and all connected to the same SQL database. So let's go ahead and reappend that. Select Next. And this is just a summary page letting us know the user identity, email settings, SQL Server, the database name, etc. So once we have verified that that's what we want, we'll click Finish. And it's going to go through the configuration services process. This might take a, a little bit. And what you'll see me doing uh, in the video itself is I'm just going to be cutting out the dead space so we can just get straight to the uh, video portion itself. Less time, better uh, content. Okay, that was the successful install. Now it's going to ask us to do a couple of other little things to finalize the installation of the console. So you'll just click install here. And it's going to bring up a Altair 6.0 console. Not really what most people are used to seeing with the new 6.5 console, but this is the starting point. From here, we're going to be able to do many other things, but for the purposes of this video, we've now installed the Notification Server 6 console. If you want to follow up on how to install solutions such as the 6.5, maybe Client Management Suite Level 1, Asset Management Suite Level 1, 2, or 3, Server Management Suite, please uh, look at the other video on installing solutions. Thank you for uh, taking the time to watch the video.